when it comes to history and evolution of tractors. Tractors first emerged in the early 19th century when steam engines on wheels were used to help drive mechanical farm machinery using a flexible belt. The first portable steam engine used for agricultural purposes was invented by Richard Trevi Thick in 1812 and it was known as the barn engine. The barn engine was mainly used to drive a corn threshing machine. Advances continued and improvements to engines began to develop as the history of tractors continued. In October 5, 1890, John Froelich invented the first the stable gas, petroleum-powered traction motor, tractor. He tested it by threshing the field and it was successful. It was more reliable and could go 3 miles an hour. This new invention could thresh 1,000 bushels a day. Later on in May 8, 1894, the Waterloo gasoline traction engine was made. Waterloo Company was the first company to sell gasoline tractors. Created by John Froelich and other businessmen, it was based in Waterloo, Iowa. The company gave John Froelich the opportunity to sell his tractors. Unfortunately, the customers were unsatisfied and they later sold the company to just work on gasoline engines. In September 26, 1901, Hart Park Company created another tractor. Charles Hart and Charles Parr came together to create the company Hart Parr. They started the manufacturing of tractors and they are known as the founders of the tractor industry. Both of them strived to build a better machine to cultivate the land by building large oil-cooled tractors. They coined the name tractor Hart Parr. In November 14, 1908, Holt Company creates Caterpillar tractors. Holt invents self-laying tracks instead of the common wheel. He crested his first track type and called it the Caterpillar. It made its way across a California field and became the first tractor that didn't have wheels. He then figured out how to power it with oil and the new tractor was ready for production. In October 5, 1910, Fordson was created. Henry Ford created his own independent company called, Henry Ford & Son. He started his venture with Model F, the most basic model of the tractor. His goal was to make an affordable, lightweight and small tractor that appealed to the common people. Later on in June 17, 1918, modern John Deere & Company emerges. Deere buys the Waterloo Company and the tractor becomes the base of the product. Although they only sold 5,634 tractors were sold, it started the Deere Company in the field of tractors and led to the tractor we know today. John Deere became the first manufacturer to offer farmers a tractor that had a roll bar to help protect the operator. By the early 1970s, farm tractors started to feature more comfortable seating for the operator and a sound guard protecting the tractor cab, helping to shield them from heat, cold, and dust. In June 5, 1928, the three-point hitch tractor was made. Henry Ferguson developed this kind of tractor, that is a standardized method of attaching equipment. The advantage is that it moves the equipment in a downward force that gives it better traction for plowing. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.